Okay, welcome back. So this time, what we're going to do is enumerate the users, users on the system. And then we're going to log in as one of the users, hack their password, log in as a user, get a list of the other user accounts, log out, and then hack the passwords of the other user accounts using a password list. So really fast, we're going to use the nmap again. So I'll pop over to, to user, share, nmap, scripts. I'll look at that. Actually, I'll look at SMB, everything SMB. And then I'll do an nmap dash dash script equals. We'll look at sessions. And on the IP of 192.168.1.19. We went through this. It shows me that Fatma's logged in. So now I know that Fatma is a user account. So I'll do a Hydra dash E NSR dash L Fatma. I'm going to skip the password. I'm going to just hope that it's either a null it's the same thing or it's reversed. And so I'm gonna go through and now do this. Oops, 168.1.19. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. And then Telnet. So I'll run this and, you know, let's run that like that. And it didn't find it, that's sad. Did I type it right, 119? Yeah, unfortunately, it's not finding the password for Fatma, so we'll have to keep trying. Oh, there we go. Third time's the charm. So we ran it, and sure enough, there we got Fatma and her password. So let's log in as Fatma over to this IP address. So Telnet to that IP. Log in, Fatma. Then the password. Okay, we're in the system. So you can see this is Fatma has used her name in reverse as her password. Uh, that's what that dash E NSR does. The N is null or blank password. The S is the same thing as the login, so that'd be Fatma Fatma. And then the R is the reverse. So that's Fatma and then Amit off like that. So what I'm going to do, uh, net user. We can find some users on here. We're going to pick our user account and we're going to attack that one. So we're going to pick one of those. So we can exit now. Now we need our password list. So this brings us up to speed to where we are in this exercise. We're going to find our password using a password list. When we're going to do that, I'm going to pop over here, uh, bring up a new tab, go to my local computer, 192.168.1.85 slash files, and I'm going to download this password list. Let me make sure it's the right one. Yeah, that's it. That's the password list. So I'm going to right click that password list and choose save link as. Downloads password list. Yeah, that works. So I'll save. Replace it, go ahead. So I know that I'm replacing a, another password list. That's fine. Now I'm going to go back over and see where my session was. And I'm going to grab one of these accounts and I'm going to use that and a password list. So I can go back over to my downloads directory if I want to. Now that I've got the cat password list, I can look at all the passwords we have. And so I'm going to Hydra. And I. In this case, we don't need to use the dash E NSR because I can tell you that your names are not in the password. So we can skip that. But in real life, you would use that because it might be. Now I need to pick one of those accounts and I'll just pick the first one that came up. And then capital P for a password list, the IP address of the, the host I'm attacking, and then the service that I'm attacking. So we'll go ahead and run that. Um, I won't run that yet. If you will go ahead and run that exercise, then we'll try to find the password. Okay, so most of the students have had a chance to run the exercise, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. And there we go, that's the password for this user. So now I can go ahead and run our desktop, dash u, which that's the user account right there, dash p, this is the password right there, unquestionably. And then the IP address, 192.168.1.19. So now I should be able to log into Windows as the account that I just cracked. And I am. So I've got a desktop and this user is an administrator. I'll leave that up for that student when they log in. Okay, so there we go. Um, close that out. So I can go through and do any aspect of anything I want. I'm going to log off log off so that's it that's the uh, that's the process there for logging into the system remotely 
uh, the next the next section will actually be finding a encrypted PDF an encrypted PDF and then cracking the password on the PDF using PDF crack which is very straightforward <laughs>